Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Industrial gas supplier Air Products hosted media at the Johannesburg-based restaurant and microbrewery Mad Giants in June, where it showcased its support for South Africa's burgeoning craft beer industry. David Oliveira tells us more. As a supplier of gas is vital to the brewing process, Air Products plays an important role in supporting microbreweries to create craft beer suited for this expanding market. To ensure the quality and taste of its clients' craft beer, Air Products supplies its food-grade, fresh line range of gases, including pure oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. As Air Products, we have a division um, under specialty gases. Uh, we call it Fresh Line. And Fresh Line is our trademark for food-grade gases. So we supply the craft beer market or the microbrewers with oxygen, the tank I'm standing next to, um, that's during the initial stages of the fermentation of the beer and then also we supply the CO2 for carbonation and also when they are filling their cakes they will fill it with the CO2 first and then with the mixture of sometimes it's 60% CO2 in nitrogen for the head of the beer. It's very important because the quality of the oxygen or of the gas will also affect the flavour and the taste of the beer itself. During the tour, Engineering News spoke with Mad Giant founder Ivan Ace, who explained some of the intricacies and science behind brewing a great craft beer. To make beer is actually quite simple. We take a starch, convert it to sugar, convert it to alcohol and then try and sell it to people. Obviously the challenge comes making it taste great and giving it a shelf life. So what we obviously do is we go through quite a lot of scientific steps to ensure that we get a great fresh beer out. The first part, starch conversion, happens when uh, we go into our mash tun. We have the barley, which is our starch. Inside the barley, there's already some enzymes that occur naturally. Uh, and a starch is basically a long chain of combined, made up of a lot of sugars. The enzymes will then go and snip up this long chain into small chains, which is our sugars. And that is the first step of the brewing process. After the sugars, we uh, extraction, we add the hops, give us bitterness, flavor, and aroma. Once we're done with that, we add slightly a little bit of oxygen before we add our yeast. The yeast needs this oxygen to grow healthy and ferment a great beer. The, f the yeast's job and function is to convert the sugars then to alcohol. Uh, after we've done that, we go through some maturation to clean the beer out, make sure it's a great product before we carbonate it and pack it. Meanwhile, the fledgling craft beer market is expected to take about 10% of the total market share in South Africa by 2022. And Ubuntu Kral Brewery founder Ndomiso Madlala had this to say about this growing industry. Well, it's so exciting. Uh, the industry is growing. Uh, we've had some tough economic times in the past, so we've seen a lot of guys close down. But we're seeing a lot more uh, coming up. Uh, but in general, we are on an upward trend. Uh, we're eating away from the market of commercial beer and we think in the next five, six years would have gained quite um, a reasonable market share in the beer industry in South Africa, which is, which is actually quite a big market, uh, if I may say. Madlala went on to discuss some of the major economic factors currently affecting local craft breweries. At the moment price, because we're such small guys, we cannot really afford to sell at commercial prices. So our prices at the moment are not geared towards uh, the mass market. Um, as we grow larger in size, then we try to accommodate a larger group. In the beginning, your typical craft beer drinkers, which, you know, were mostly white Caucasian males, but that is slightly changing now. You see quite a lot of black middle class coming in. Um, I myself, basing myself in Soweto, um, I did that in a hope that I can be able to attract also the township um, beer fans into the craft beer market. Uh, it has proven to be a slow process, but you know I still stay true to my original plan. My intention is still to attract a lot of uh, township uh, people into understanding craft beer. And I mean, everybody in the industry knows that the sooner I do that, uh, everybody becomes a winner, basically. Mad Giant started in 2014. It literally did start as a garage job <laughs> and experimenting with some recipes. And I was still doing a corporate uh, gig at a big uh, petrochemical company. And I realized that this is what I wanted to do. I've been in touch with beer for about 11 years now, but I never took the leap or the plunge 
because it is quite a, a tough industry to get into because of the capital investment required to start. In 2016, in August, we started brewing in this brewery and now we're just going flat out and grow as much as we can. I think the market is still very young, obviously. Um, craft beer is quite pricey and expensive because we make it on a very small scale. It is very hands-on, which means we actually have a lot of labor per liter of beer that we make. All our raw materials, the majority of them come from overseas, we import them, which makes it quite expensive and we buy in small quantities. So all these things fight against us to get into a really good price. Um, that being said, I think it's up to us to make sure to justify the price that we actually brew very good beer that's flavorful and different to what you can get out in the mass market. I do believe over time as we grow, we will become more and more efficient, we'll grow into economies of scale and we will grow into a bigger consumer market. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.